Hey there Aquarius, welcome to Shared Ascensions and thanks so much for being here, really appreciate it. So this is going to be your general weekly reading. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding time frames, energies, things of that nature, all of that stuff should be addressed within the description box down below as well as information from my Instagram, Twitter, and Patreon. So for 1313 Monthly, you guys can join me over on Patreon. Over there I provide additional content for each sign. So I'm not accepting personal readings at this time, just wanted to put that out there. And this is going to be a reading for all Aquarius placements. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and jump right on into this here. Let's see what we're getting for you guys. Messages for Aquarius, please. Messages for Aquarius, please. Okay. Reading the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so Taurian energy. All right. Let's clarify what this is about, please. What's this about? Two of Swords, Libra. Six of Swords, Aquarius, and the Ace of Swords, uh, Air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, okay? So there's a turnaround that's happening here. Somebody could be traveling to you. I do feel this involves a person. Um, there's some kind of choice that's being made here, all right? Somebody might be traveling to make this choice, or there's some kind of communication or something going on here. There is progression, though, uh, because... We've got a six clarifying a five, okay? So you come out of this chaotic point um, onto calm, okay? Peace. No more chaos, right? If you see these tumultuous waters down here, they're moving on to still water. So that's what I'd like to see here. I definitely feel that this is going to come with some kind of communication, especially since the Six of Swords is a Mercury card. Um, you've got the Ace of Swords showing up here. So there's going to be a decision that's made because you move from the two to the Ace, okay? So let's look at what this is about for Aquarius. What's this about for Aquarius, please? Tell me what this is about for Aquarius. There's some distrust going on here. Um, yeah, I'm getting it's not what it seems. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. It's not what it seems. So this could involve a Gemini for some of you. Um, but I'm getting that it's not what it seems. You're in disbelief about something. Like you don't trust what you're being told. There's something like that that's going on here. Or, or you're suspicious of someone's motives here. What's this about, please, for Aquarius? This could involve an Aries for some of you, okay? What's this about for Aquarius, please? What's this about for Aquarius? Okay, yeah. Um, again, I feel like there's something that you're, you don't trust something here, okay? Um, High Priestess is Piscean energy. You've got the Eight of Cups, more Piscean energy, and the Two of Wands in reverse. So you feel out of control in a situation. I think that's why you're having some trust issues in a situation. You fear losing control, okay? That's what I feel is happening here. You fear losing control. Um, what's the Eight of Cups? Tell me about the Eight of Cups. There's some kind of turnaround, though. I can't stress that enough. Page of Wands, okay? And then you've got the Fool on the bottom here. Goodness gracious. Fire, Aries, Sag, Leo, and Aquarius with the Fool, Okay. Either your freedom feels threatened or you feel as if you're threatening someone else's freedom. Or you feel as if someone else's freedom threatens your comfort. Alright, that's what it feels like to me. Something like that here. situation please for Aquarius. So maybe there are abandonment issues going on here. 
All right, that's what I'm getting here. There's some kind of abandonment issue, okay? You could very well be dealing with a person who has walked away from you before because you do have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So I do feel like somebody's returning here with the Eight of Cups showing up, the Six of Swords. I feel like you don't trust it, okay? Um, or there could be, it could be a situation like um, someone's left you before and then there's a new person coming in here and you don't trust it due to the past situations, okay? So I've got the Seven of Pentacles here. Uh, which is Taurus energy, you've got the Ten of Swords reversed, which is Gemini, more Gemini with this Eight, Nine on the bottom in reverse, um, Gemini energy as well, okay? So this could definitely involve a Gemini, you could have some Gemini in your chart, Aquarius, but um, yeah, it feels like you're, be you're feeling betrayed, all right? That's what I feel is happening here, you're feeling betrayed or there's a fear of being betrayed, all right? Yeah, you've been feeling really bogged down by that, really pinned down by this fear. Um, but I feel like there's going to be a turnaround when it comes to that, okay? Because you do have the Eight of Swords in reverse. Eight of Swords upright to me can be a card of like um, like abandonment, somebody being deserted, uh, stuck, okay? But I feel like, you know, I talk about this a lot with this card because this is uh, Jupiter and Gemini. And Jupiter is about growth and expansion. So I feel like there is growth and expansion here uh, because Swords are about the mind and the intellect. So everything that's keeping her stuck here uh, is all in her head. So that's what I feel is happening. Um, I feel like you're freeing yourself from this energy whatever it is okay or something's going to happen here and it's just going to force you to free yourself from this energy because you've got the nine of swords in reverse you're going to be waking up to something here is what i feel like saying okay so there is no more overthinking uh, that's what these swords climbing the wall here that's what those are it's uh grief anxiety uh that's what i feel is happening here but it's coming out in reverse so i feel like there's going to be a major turnaround here tell me about the seven of pentacles devil Capricorn energy. This could involve a Capricorn. It doesn't have to, but it's something that, um, something you've been waiting on is coming in, is what I feel like saying with the Seven of Pentacles. Because with the Six of Pentacles, you're planting the seeds. The Seven of Pentacles, things are growing, okay? Things are happening, all right? And I think that's a little scary for you, honestly. You've got the Death card showing up here, uh, which is Scorpionic energy. You've also got Temperance, which is Sag energy, and the Queen of Swords, okay? Libra. I feel like someone's going to be talking to you here, okay? There's there's major transformation going on here. There's some major attachment issues you're letting go of or things that you just feel weighed down by that you're letting go of, that you're releasing, okay? Past beliefs, past trauma, pain. That's what I feel is happening here. But you're beginning something brand new. I want to look at the Queen of Swords, okay? That's what I feel like you're doing here. You're looking back at your past, okay? Um, and you're seeing how it served you, okay? And I feel like that's going to allow you to move on, all right? Let's look at the Queen of Swords, please. Some of you are leaving a Sagittarius in the past. Ace of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords. Okay, yeah, it's time. Okay, because when the when the Queen of Swords shows up, you know she's welcoming something in here, right? She's got that sword up for protection, so it's like, yeah, you know, be cognizant of of whatever, you know. But at the same time, she's welcoming in this new beginning, this Ace of Pentacles, and Queen of Swords has been through a lot. You know, look at the way that she's facing here it's because she's put a lot behind her so that's what that's what's happening here okay and then you've got the temperance card showing up which is divine guidance okay so you're being protected throughout this new beginning so i like this a lot for you here aquarius let's see if we're getting anything else you know anybody is going to be anybody's going to have some kind of fear when it comes to letting go of some kind of attachment but it's just something that's got to happen you know you've got the death card showing up here death is inevitable it's something that we all face eventually right so when that shows up it's talking about a change that's inevitable it has to happen okay you've got to move forward from this all right anything else that we're getting here there's something about an earth sign okay there's something about an earth sign that i'm getting here as well you've got the five of Okay, so this could be a turnaround with an earth sign. Okay, you've got the five of cups here, scorpionic energy, the world in reverse, fixed energy, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and the nine of wands, uh, sad energy. So there's that distrust with that nine of wands showing up, five of cups, you know, it's somebody who's grieving. Okay, so yeah, I feel like you're still hurt over something here. Okay. Yeah, you're feeling unable to close a chapter, but you can make it happen, okay? This is not something that you have to carry with you, I promise, okay? I promise. It's only going to weigh you down, all right? So there's a chapter that needs to be closed out here. Forgiveness needs to happen, okay? Forgiveness needs to happen for a lot of you. That's what you're carrying with you, some kind of bitterness, resentfulness. That's what I feel is happening here. And it's weighing you down. It's keeping you stuck, okay? So you've got the Queen of Wands. 
Aries energy, very bold, fearless energy, and then you've got the strength card, uh, Leo energy, the Emperor, more Aries energy. So you're being protected, okay? The Emperor promises st stability and security, right? Um, so let's look here at the rest of this. Tell me about strength. Tell me about strength, please. Please, for Aquarius. You got the Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, the Three of Cups, Cancerian energy, the Seven of Swords, Aquarian energy, the Six of Cups, Scorpio, and the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo. This is all clarifying the strength card, okay? So you're going to be putting in a lot of work on yourself, is what I feel like saying here. Um, results are going to be slow, okay, is what I feel like saying. But it's something that just it just takes time, okay? Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving knight, but he gets the job done, he gets the work done, and he gets it done right. Okay, so if you look at those three pentacles up there, they're not yellow like they are in the you know rest of the cards in the suit of pentacles. Um, but you're putting in work, okay? This is something that takes time, all right? Um, so that's what I feel like is happening here with this strength card. I definitely feel like you're being protected, okay? I do feel like you're being protected. You've got the six of cups and the three of cups showing up here, all right? You're being given something. You're being given a second chance, all right? Um, so you're being protected, but you're also learning how to protect yourself, okay? You're learning how to think on your feet in situations as well. Um, so that's what I'm seeing here for you. You know, like I said, anytime you're changing, it's going to be uncomfortable. You're going to be, you know, hyper alert or whatever you want to call it of people. You're going to be suspicious of people when you're letting go of attachments. You're going to be suspicious of everything new because it's new, right? Um, but that's going to wear off eventually, okay? You're going to find a new normal. That's what it feels happening here. Ace of Cups on the bottom. So, you know, emotional fulfillment coming in here. Could be with a water sign. Could involve a water sign. Doesn't have to, though. All right, but that's what I'm seeing here for you. I'm actually going to do another reading for you guys over on Patreon. So if you want to join me over there, the link's going to be in the description box down below. But if this is where we part, I want to thank you guys so much for watching um, and supporting me. And you guys have a great week.